Hi, this is Jordan at DS Software, and I'm going to show you how you can make your own maps that you can use for offline navigation with Polaris Navigation System. The tool we're going to use to create our own maps is called Mobile Atlas Creator, or MOBAC. You will need to install MOBAC on your computer. To install MOBAC, go to the Mobile Atlas Creator website, which is located at mobac.sourceforge.net. When you arrive at the website, scroll down to the latest stable release of the application. The latest stable release will install as a zip file on your computer. You'll need to unzip that file into a folder on your computer. So here I've done that. You can see that the file contents includes a file called mobileatlascreator.exe. This is the executable that will launch MOBAC. I've launched MOBAC and now I'm ready to create my own map. The first thing I want to do is go to the upper left portion of the screen and click on Atlas. We're going to be making a new Atlas, so I click that. And since this is going to be a map of a portion of Galveston, Texas, I'm going to call my Atlas Galveston. And next I need to select an Atlas format. You see that there are several Atlas formats that you can choose from, but it is very important that you use the MB Tiles SQ Lite Atlas format. Most of the other tile formats are not going to give us the results that we're looking for. In fact, some of these formats outright do not work with Polaris Navigation System. So be sure to select MB Tiles SQ Lite. Now that we've done that, we can click OK. And the next thing we need to do is to select a map source. What kind of tiles do we want to use for our map? So you go to the left panel. Under Map Source, you see you've got several maps that you can choose from. I'm going to be using the OpenStreetMap MapQuest map tiles. Next, you'll want to select which zoom levels you want to make available to your map. Now, I am going to be making a very small map and I've selected all the zoom levels. If you make a map of a relatively large geographic area, you want to be very judicious in your use of zoom levels because the more zoom levels you select, the larger your atlas is going to become. And if you're making a map of a large geographic area and you use a lot of zoom levels, you may wind up creating a file that is so large that it cannot be run on the Android system. So be careful there. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to select a small section of Galveston Island to use in my map. If I want to drag the map or move the map around, what I would do is right click on my mouse and simply drag. To make a selection on the map, left click on the mouse and go ahead and draw. So here you see I made a little pink square and this is my selection area. So I want to add that selection area to my atlas. I go to the left panel and I click on add selection. I'm now ready to create my atlas. Again, in the left panel, I go to create atlas. I click on that and my atlas is in the process of being created. When I'm done, I will be able to take this atlas and install it onto my Android device and I'll be able to navigate using that map and I will not need an online connection. So we need to find the Atlas. The Atlas is actually located inside a folder which also contains the executable for MOBAC. So I go back to that folder and you see that within there, within that folder, there is a folder called Atlases. So I open up that folder and here I have several atlases. They are all of the MB tiles file format. The file that we just created is called galveston.mb tiles. And what you'll need to do is you will need to take your MB tiles and you will need to install that file into the OSM droid folder on your Android device. You can 
connect your phone or connect your Android tablet to your computer and use your computer's file navigation system to put the .mb tiles file into the OSM droid folder or you could even email that file to yourself and then using your phone's file navigation system install that file into the OSM droid folder. Once the file is in place in that folder you're ready to navigate without any kind of online assistance. And that's it. You can make as many atlases as you want. You can select from several different types of map tiles. If you have any questions about how to create your own maps or if you have any questions about any of our navigation products you can send us an email. Our email address is support at discipleskies.com. Thank you for watching this video and happy navigating.